I had some good time to listen to some music uh, randomly. And uh, a couple bands I heard and, and really dug was, uh, I don't know how to say this, K-A-Q-R-I-Y. Is it Kakrayu you Terry, Terror? I don't know. The song is called BWG. Really cool uh, band. Uh, Her Name in Blood. The song is called Bakemono. Good stuff. Mar- Mardalus? Mardalus? Uh, Force and Justice. And then there's a Hanabie song that uh, popped up and it the band name only came up in kanji. So I didn't realize it was them. And as I was listening to it, I'm like, I really dig this. So I did a little investigative work and found out it was Hanabie. And the song's called Love, then something in kanji. <laughs> it was explained <laughs> to me at some point. But so just really cool stuff, man. Um, you know, there's there's so many bands to to discover. For there's sure. so many already, but there's so many more that pop up. You're like, what is that? You know? Yeah, so, yeah. I know, dude. And then, uh, you know, I did, uh, what did I do? Oh, it was my one year since hearing uh, Bandmade, No God, which wow. is the, the second song I heard and really hooked me into the band. So I made a, a special video about that, talking a little bit more about the song and certain parts that, uh, what I was thinking during certain parts of the song and stuff. So that was fun. Nice. That was a lot of fun. Got a lot of people commenting about, you know, when they first heard them and, uh, you know, some of the people, the first time they heard them was through that video and some they had found them just before that video. So they kind of, we went together on on this journey. So it's really cool, man, hearing from all these people and sharing experience. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, uh, by the way, why you started with No God specifically? That was my second one. The first one was Thrill. Oh, Oh, okay. And that was enough. I'm like, this is cool. And then... uh, I, it was probably just us, you know, suggested a lot on the thrill video. <laughs> and so I just, uh, checked out. That was, pro- that was quite a jump in style. I would imagine you were like, yeah. what the heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You could tell, man. Cause it, I was like, what the fuck? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> to go from it. thrill to no God. Jesus. <laughs> but to me, it wasn't like, oh, this is completely different. I'm just like, this is a fucking great song, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I, I love Thrill. I, I dug that song. It was fucking cool. Because it was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, well, this is like Black Sabbath. And I think I mentioned Winery Dogs at one, you know, there's yeah. a two. <laughs> so I, I was impressed with it anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Definitely. Hey, can Underrated I add one song? Go ahead. I'm done. Which one? Thrill or No God? Thrill. Thrill. Yeah. <laughs> um i just wanted to add one other thing i'm sorry guys the, the what i actually did for the vast majority of the week was was re-upload my, my a lot of my rock reactions to my new channel and i've been writing new news descriptions that people are in the chat are actually reminding me of this right now <laughs> this is oh, yeah. this is what i did with my week <laughs> um and uh yeah so if you, all of my 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 rock stuff's on my my new channel and i've been doing like updated descriptions and bringing stuff up for my patreon and stuff like that so uh you know just wanted to throw that out there go subscribe to champ rock thank you wave <laughs> go wave all right well like Ryan, my uh, one year anniversary for Bandmate is on Wednesday this week, June first. So I'm, I don't have anything planned yet, but I kind of want to go back and revisit. You know, the first song I heard was Freedom, and then No God was my second song too. So I don't know if I want to revisit the song fresh or like watch my first reaction and make fun of myself or what. But yeah, I'm excited to. <laughs> to focus more on bandmate and it's week i learned that there's a pretty controversial bandmate song out there uh the dragon cries i guess mm. a lot of people i didn't know you've that, gotten to the, you've gotten there huh you've gotten yep. there in your bandmate fandom <laughs> but man i did the isolated tracks of it and the drum and bass some of the funkiest drum and bass that I've heard Misa and Akane play. It was Good. so fun to listen to. It's a cool song, man. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, I'm very curious, like specifically why people don't like it. I or love that people, song. You know? That was Have one of my favorite video? songs when I heard Have you it. Seen the video wave? No, yeah. I, the, vi- the video's I, not. It's like a. It's a with the intent of bringing some some eyes to pollution and destroying the earth kind of thing yeah it's part of what the dragon cries uh is the dragon is the world and the dragon cries so the video is a little different it's a little 
You kind of the gotcha. You watch. I See, love that. The first that song. time I saw it was during the Lime Cube Shibuya right on. concert, so I haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, and that's what people get hung up on. I think is is the video, and then uh, the what? fucking mix. politics. Oh, okay. song, it's video. a cool fucking song, dude. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. I don't get uh, how the video really ruined the song for everyone. That's I, I thought it's it was really just good song. it's just politics, my dude. Yeah. Like literally, yeah. like That's people don't okay. like being told to care or not care about certain things. Um, the song itself, I think, is good too. It's one of my favorites, actually, from them. I like it a lot. So it was one of my favorite ones when I first heard it. That's before we started listening to like Unseen World and stuff. When I was listening, uh, checking out Bandmade. But wait, but what else you got? Was that it? Um, and there's one more thing since uh. I think Champ and Ryan last week were talking about Freezer, right? Yeah. And I was like, I got to listen to that song again. So I revisited that as well and did the isolated track thing on it. And yeah, that was fun and interesting. It's probably the simplest bass line I've ever heard Misa play during a chorus. Because she's just playing like single <coughs> notes the whole time. And mm. I, I thought that was really interesting, but it had, you know... The re- the song is insane. So anyway, that was my week. It was fun. Cool. What nice. about you, Alan? I I just did that stream pretty much. I just did that stream. Checked out all of our top ten lists. I obviously missed one of the songs, so uh, checked out another Dreamcatcher song. Um, yeah, it's worth going about. back and watching Alan's stream. By the way, guys, I actually I, I was sitting there watching it, and they <laughs> they did a ton of great tracks over there. Yeah, nice. it was it was a really fun stream. So it was a mix of like Patreon, the top ten, um, and it was fun. It was a blast. Oh, sweet! And um, yeah, Rosie tuned into it while I was driving. And yeah. Was like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> um, it's just funny because you know Frank is like it's I I spent most of the stream trying to convince him. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think there's some comments people were saying they're like, like I love how Alan is just trying to really get Frank into this. <laughs> yeah. I will say he was much more receptive to this Dreamcatcher song than the last one that you guys did. Yeah. I think he just liked the he liked the the, the pre-chorus with the drums and brr 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 at that part. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the the thing that I noticed him being the most intrigued by was Poppy. <laughs> he yeah. seemed to really yeah. really like Poppy. <laughs> Poppy's really good, man. That song Poppy's is really fucking good. awesome. <laughs> I fucking love that if, song. If y'all have never listened to Poppy, you got to check out some Poppy. Yeah, and, it, Poppy. But it's very, it's very important that you check out the right Poppy because there is very, very different versions I did. of Poppy. I did one video with, with Poppy. What's Scary Mask, probably? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there yeah, you go. Do you like it? it yeah, it's yeah I loved it. That's a fucking awesome had, song. <laughs> that's, that's, the, uh, the crazy uh, multi-face vase she has and that i actually have it oh sick <laughs> oh nice <laughs> i got one of those <laughs> um so the the cool thing about frank though is like it's definitely um i think teresa said it takes some effort to get a reaction out of frank yeah it really does it, but it's also refreshing <laughs> like you just see his face he's just like what have you taken me to like what are you showing <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> uh, that also makes it more cracks. satisfying though when he does give the reaction because yes. you're like oh it's earned it <laughs> right yeah uh-huh. um frank is very he's just all about drums only that's it like it's so hard to get him like out of that so like if we play anything that's like a simple beat he's just completely like <laughs> i get that song. I, he's like, I he doesn't give like a that. damn about anything else <laughs> He doesn't care how catchy the melody is. He doesn't care how many riffs are in there. If the drums aren't interesting, he's like, he's he's checked out. <laughs> Yo, I'll be honest though. Like, if the guitar is not interesting in a song, I I I might not care about what's happening with the rest of it. Also, yeah. it's it's hard, man. It's hard when it's the yeah. instrument that you play and you're like concentrating on it. You know what I mean? And you're like, oh, it's just a drum beat. Okay, I can play this. Uh, give me something new. Yeah, so I was- get I get it. That was something impressive uh, uh, Teresa just brought up um, when he was satisfied with the Leprous review that we did. Oh, that video is coming out good. I'll, I'll put it up soon. You guys got to check it out. But uh, we like started off going, what are we listening to? To like, this is the best thing we've ever heard. <laughs> and even Frank was like that. But the drums are like insane. Like they're they're really insane. Like uh, that drummer is just leprous. phenomenal. Who is Leprous? Can, uh, can I get it? Who is leprous? I know you like went nuts over him there for a while. He kept talk, wouldn't shut up about him. Um, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> what 
<clears throat> oh my god, am I gonna forget where they're from? Where are they from again, Teresa? Sweden, right? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I remember uh, now. Yes, I watched them during a live stream. Yeah. Which song did you Very check out? Cool. There's Norway. no way for Norway. me to Sorry. remember these things. <laughs> <laughs> he he listened to 380 <laughs> songs but that day. The thing with the thing with um the thing with Leprous that's so amazing is they can play so incredibly slow with so much feel and not like mess. It's really hard to play that ridiculously slow. And like, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> I don't like slow music generally, but it's just so impressive how they still captivate you. Like, yeah, hmm. that's something some people don't think about is like, it's harder to play at a slow tempo than it is like a fast mid tempo, you know, just to yeah. stay in time in the pocket. That's why, like, when you find those bands that could do those breakdowns just right, you know, <laughs> and they yeah. can actually stay with it, you know, mm. or they don't accidentally rush the center of it or actually go too slow or something like that. But anyways, so, yeah, that was my week. I did the stream and stuff like that, and I think that was it. Yeah, we did an album review. We did Necro Goblicon. That was pretty good. That's some good songs off of that album. So we just ended up the album reviews and stuff like that, working on new music, recording. Pretty much was it. I did a lot of recording this week and stuff. Um, and nice. Prepping, but hopefully get some new music out here soon. I've been trying to find the motivation for that to record. Yeah, it's hard. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it can get really tricky. You got to like get yeah. in that, into that that mindset of like, now I'm on a camera and everybody can see me and, you know, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've actually done... A couple of recordings, I just, I was like, I'm not turning the fucking camera on. <laughs> I just wanted to play, like, because you're right, man. It, it'll ruin it. It'll yeah, ruin it does. It. Like, I, I just want to jam like I used to by myself. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. And, but I still got it captured, you know. It's, still, it's just easier. But now it's I got I got to either learn what I fucking played during the solo improvised for, like, eight bars yeah. or just play another <laughs> one. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. I feel like it could be the same with just listening to the music, too, honestly, because like sometimes I'm just like, I want to turn on a song and listen to it, but I don't want the camera to be staring at me and like judging me (laughs) while I'm judging the music. (laughs) But my thing is I record myself playing guitar and I never go back and rewatch it. (laughs) Mm. I have so much film of me just improvising and I never watch it. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like I don't want to watch two hours of improv right now. Uh, right. <laughs> I usually just improv with the camera off, and then if I find a sweet riff, then I'll record like a thirty second clip so I don't forget it. Yeah, smart. Mm. And then I turn the yeah. That off. is smart because then you don't have to listen to two hours of improv that way. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Or um, edit it out when you're trying to do a fucking play to a video. Yeah. I'm yeah. Learn that. <clears throat> so. For more whatever that was, be sure to subscribe to Gaijin Guys and uh, turn on the notifications so you can be part of the live stream every Sunday. You can also uh, find us wherever you listen to podcasts, and uh, you can find more exclusive content on Patreon. So we'll see you there. Thank you so much.